Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to change the web username and password on the Avaya VSP9000 system using Enterprise Device Manager. Using Enterprise Device Manager, you can change the following parameters for web administration. You can change the username, password, HTTP port, HTTPS port, and the source destination of help files. In our tech tip, we will cover changing the web username and password settings. In our tech tip example, we'll log into the Enterprise Device Manager web interface using the current admin username and password. By default, the username is admin and the password is password. In the configuration menu, we'll select Security, Control Path, General, and open the Web tab. Next, we'll highlight the web username box and change the username. Then we'll highlight the web user password box and enter a new password. Once we have completed our changes, we'll select Apply to save our changes. In our example, we'll log into the system by entering our admin username and admin password, and then select the Logon button. In the configuration menu, we'll select Security followed by Control Path, then we'll select General, and then we'll select Web to open the Web tab. Next, we'll highlight the Web Username box and change the username. Then we'll select the Web User Password text box and enter a new password. Once we have completed the changes, we'll select Apply to save our changes. As you can see, changing the web username and password on the Avaya VSP9000 system with Enterprise Device Manager is a quick and easy process. Avaya recommends changing the username and password for security purposes. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.